Hey, yo, what's up, guys? Zade here with another episode of Sage Experience. Today, I'm going to be bringing you an update on my 90 day challenge that I've been doing in order to lose some weight. Once again, I've been getting great results. I think I've been following things to a T as much as I can. And today, I'm going to be showing you some of those results. Today is a 60 day progress check. So, you're going to be looking at those before and after pictures, actually, from day one to right now. That way, you can see the difference. And even from from past video that I did, which was only 30 days in. But as of right now, I wanted to give you kind of like the update on some of the parameters that I've had versus the parameters that I'm gonna be setting up to right now. So on the past video, I went ahead and explained what the parameters were gonna be. So if you wanna go ahead and check that video out, it's gonna be up here, or I'm gonna leave a link somewhere up here. But basically, to sum a portion of it up, I started off at 3,200 calories. And on this past month, I moved it up to 3,000, and that's where I've gotten these results from. Also, my cardio started off at a base level of 10,000 steps every single day. And what I ended up doing is adding an extra two miles every day, which equates anywhere from 3,000 to 4,000 extra steps. So a total of 14,000 steps every day. But those were the base parameters of which this diet was based off of. As far as food goes, I've been keeping my protein intake pretty high, my carbs relatively low, and fats relatively low. Again, on a fat loss mission, I do not require as much fat as maybe if I was doing Olympic lifting and I was trying to put on maybe some, some size, some weight. You know, you optimize all those parameters to that sport specifically and again if you're doing soccer you don't want an immense amount of fat either you want to be able to move fast you want to be able to be explosive so you would probably focus it a little bit more on carbohydrates and and maybe some protein intake and maybe keeping a decent amount of fats in or the good fats that'll make your brain a little bit more responsive you know such as uh, acetylcholine getting a little bit more egg yolks in that kind of a situation getting those avocados to make sure that your potassium stores are highly optimized and if not maybe getting your electrolyte drinks you know it all depends on the sport as i mentioned before i do a bunch of sports which is the reason why i can get away with a lot of the stuff that i do so my protein intake's high my carb intake is kind of medium lowish and fats are very low so here is what i do on the regular i do i run every day and if not i walk very very fast but i gotta get those 10,000 steps in minimum every day and the equivalent of two mile run, you know, whether it's a 10 minute mile or a seven minute mile, it doesn't matter. Those have to go in. That is kept on my everyday kind of like sports situation. That way I can keep a robust base. That way my, my tank, metaphorically speaking, my endurance tank is pretty big because I've noticed that whether I'm doing my Olympic lifting, my Muay Thai, my running, or just regular weightlifting, if my tank is robust, if my engine feels like it's a big engine. And I mean that in the sense that I can take a pretty big workload, you know? Let's say I wanted to go run 13 miles right now at a 10 minute pace, even though I have not fully prepped for that. I feel like I can go ahead and do it. It wouldn't be at the best pace of my life, but I can definitely go ahead and do it. And that's what I mean by having a robust engine. That's why I keep that amount of steps in. That's why I keep that amount of volume in. So that must be done every day. It is non-negotiable. I do not negotiate with myself. I am pretty strict about these things. Second, there is a type of workout every day, whether it's Muay Thai, whether it's lifting weights or Olympic lifting or even power lifting, because those could all be a little bit different. <laughs> it has to happen. You know, or even running, even running. Sometimes I'll go ahead and I'll put sprints in and that's a workout on its own. Or sometimes there's a combination. So needless to say, I'm doing something at least like two a days, sometimes one, depending on how I feel, because I also have to go by what my body feels. But again, the 10,000 steps plus the run is a non-negotiable. Everything else we go by by feel because we got to listen to our bodies and recovery. And that's where my whoop has been coming in as of lately it's the second this is the the latest generation this one's a lot better than the other one the other one i hate it there was too many things but uh that's a completely different video this whoop has been doing a lot better it's a lot more accurate in my opinion and has been giving me some great data to base off my, my recovery off of and this is something i mentioned on my videos a lot doesn't matter what you are doing it doesn't matter whether you're doing olympic lifting whether you're building a rocket whether you're recovering from something it does not matter good nutrition and great sleep are the foundations of 
any sport supplementation regimen anything it is required guys you must have amazing sleep great sleep if you want to perform optimally and you must have great fuel which is your food in order to be able to do those things so needless to say if those things aren't there you, you you're starting your base at the wrong point that's why i'm talking about my whoop my whoop has helped me out to kind of assess okay how do i feel and what is the whoop telling me? I don't just strictly go by what the whoop tells me. I go by, by how I feel and what the whoop tells me. I put those together and I say, hmm, you know what? Today I feel good. The whoop is telling me I'm doing good. Let's go by that. Yesterday the whoop didn't, it was telling me that I wasn't doing so good, but I felt pretty decent. So I said, you know what? Our daily non-negotiables. And then we can go ahead and put in a sparring session, but that was it. But I had to be on top of my sparring session, which is why I was comfortable enough going to sparring. If I had felt like crap and the whoop was telling me that I was doing, that I felt crappy, I would go make sure I walked in my 10,000 steps plus doing my, my run. Maybe I would just go to the sauna, you know, um, maybe get a couple of extra steps in and that's about it. That's what I would do. Bring my intake of food down for the day. And that's how I would achieve the caloric deficit that I require. With all those parameters said, everything said, again, nutrition's on point, recovery's on point, food's been pretty on point. The only one day I actually went in and I did a little bit of a pig out and was with my sister. There was a little bit of a celebration kind of going on, but there's a lot of things that are happening currently in my life. And I've always been a massive proponent of controlling your environment and not being controlled by it. It is something that I learned very early on that I think makes all the difference. But that one day I did go, we went to, we went to IHOP. My sister kind of picked the place where they wanted to have some breakfast. We went along with a couple of other people, my girlfriend involved on that situation. I picked out on some pancakes. But this was also strategically put. I went out and pigged out. <laughs> I did pig out. It was, there, there's no getting around it. However, the workload that I put in for that day definitely made up for it. The way I adjusted my, my calories for that day also had to change. That's how I was able to put in that massive meal in the morning. So right after I went to do an Olympic lifting session, that went great because of all the carbs. Plus, I ended up doing a seven mile run at a pretty high pace. So needless to say by the end of the day my whoop was like okay you've expended about 4,000 calories today and i still felt pretty decent i also brought my fats down and i brought my protein down a little bit after that way I, I i wouldn't go overboard and just doing that once over a two month period of time actually i think helped out my muscles actually regain fullness that i think i wasn't giving them because of again lower carb very being very exact on spending all the carbs that i need to expend for my daily intake and i think that kind of helped out so i don't think a, a cheat meal or maybe a celebration is totally a bad thing on to the results of what's been happening guys i'm gonna go ahead and post the pictures of this is how i looked this is how i used to look on the first iteration like day one 205 pounds guys that's 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 where I, where I was at. It's uh, pretty gnarly. Now, this is present day. We are at 185, fluctuating between 185 to 187 and then 183. So we're almost at the goal that we wanted to hit, which was 180 pounds. That's the ideal weight that I wanna get to. And hopefully if I can bring it down even more, 175, which would be the icing on a cake in my opinion. But we're almost at the goal and we're two months and like three days in guys it's awesome I, I i i feel great i don't feel deprived of anything my brain's pretty intact in comparison to other fat loss diets that i've done it feels great a lot of the times i tend to forget a lot of things i feel like i'm like like all the time when i'm losing weight and this time i don't feel like that i think i, I finally found the sweet spot for how my body works and what it wants and what it needs specifically when it's doing a fat loss diet and especially for for all the things that are doing that i'm doing all the sports enough to feel all of them enough to have enough performance power keep on improving you know however what you can see from this uh from the physique change is that i'm still gaining muscle um, my body's still kind of main gaining because last update that i had it was at 187 and i was fluctuating between 187 to 189 those were the first 30 days 
and then even sometimes 185 but now i'm kind of set point 185 fluctuating up to a 187 and now even to 183 and i've gotten as low as to 182 so what does this tell me it tells me that we're main gaining still just a little bit so what i'm gonna do now is bring that up from the past again we started at 3200 calories last video we brought it back down to 3000 and now we're going to be bringing it out 2800 that's where we're going to be at now so only 200 calorie deficit that we're going to add and that is it that is all that we're going to be adding and i think that should really make a huge difference and if we don't see any any major changes within the next three weeks let's say three weeks go by and i want to make an update right before the video right before the 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 90 day kind of challenge situation that i'm putting myself through then i'll go ahead and take an extra 200 off base it off of that again give it a trial period i think that's the biggest thing sometimes people do not see big changes in the mirror or on the scale i'm fine with not seeing everything on, on, on the scale all the time. I'm still gaining muscle. As you guys can see from the pictures, let me, I'll go ahead and post them again. They look pretty decent for, for two months in, you know? It's not shredded, it's not V-shredded, but again, we're coming in from like a 19, 18% body fat, almost I think 20. You could, you could safely say even 20% body fat down to, I think right now we're at a 15 or starting to get in at 15. I have that little pouch from that extra amount that i've always had for a prolonged period of time and now i can kind of see that it's it's a little bit of a pouchy there so curious to see how that's gonna look when um i start to get even leaner but we are starting to get into the 15 percent body fat range comfortably like where i can see hmm that definitely looks like 15 percent you know vascularity starting to pop out a lot more i'm feeling good uh i can't complain as i've told you guys before I like trying out new stuff. I would really like to see if terkesterone actually does make a difference. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be starting off terkesterone as of today. It's February the 26th. I'm actually one day late on the video, but it's February the 26th. I'm going to start with terkesterone. I'm going to start with two capsules in the morning and two capsules in the afternoon. And then if I don't see any major changes, I'm going to go ahead and move up the dosage from three in the morning to three in the afternoon but i'll go ahead and make a video if that happens at all i like to test stuff out i like to uh try new things and obviously if we can see a massive difference in my physique that then there's something happening because you can see there's a big difference from starting date to 30 days in then right after the 60 day update that i'm doing right now but if we can see a massive difference that's huge especially at the body weight as as, it, as body weight gets lower you want to take any and extra help that you want to get well obviously being safe so i want to give this terkesterone a shot i'm going to go ahead and try it out two caps in the morning two caps in the afternoon and let's see what happens let me know what you think about it guys let me know if you guys have tried out terkesterone leave a comment down there i am highly skeptical about it i honestly don't think it's going to do much for me and if it does then great you know but if you guys have tried terkesterone leave a comment down there let me know what you guys think about it i want to see what it feels like i want to see if you feel anything at all from the research that i've done it doesn't feel like people feel much other than they feel a little bit tighter you know that they feel like they can grab things better they can pick up stuff a lot better so we'll see we'll see what happens with that but that is it for today guys thanks for joining me on another episode of sage experience hope you liked this video comment if you liked subs if you loved it and i will be seeing you on the next one Zay out. Peace.